and everything else, we can talk about what's on your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So that's where we be at with a lot of that stuff. But as far as that uh, whole cash money saga, I mean, it ain't nothing but a bunch of brothers over there, Niggas. man. Them boys made millions of dollars together, All sold them. millions of records together, man. They gonna be together forever. Yeah, but and it you ain't gonna be You be a it. damn fool to think that these boys ain't gonna get back together when they didn't made that kind of history together. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Because, see, this was the thing for me, E. When I was at Hot 107.9, one of the things that I did know was that I was a young man at the time. And I knew that I was growing up inside that station. Yeah. And I was looking forward towards my future in radio or just in the industry in general. And what I saw was that, damn, after I turned a certain age, they gonna try to boot me out the game and start saying, I'm old, I can't do this, I can't do that. So I said, before I hit that certain age, let me make it cool to be old. Yeah. So that when I hit that age, I can just ride right on into That's it. Right. And don't nobody even realize nothing and change. I done made the bed for myself to be able to be 40 years old talking about hip hop and making money off yeah. of it. Yeah. You see what yeah. I'm saying? And that's what my mind was that I was like, man, I got to create the place for me to be able to thrive in the future because I want to be able to continue to do this forever. That's I don't want to have to go home at a certain age and they say I done aged out the mm. demographic. No, it's a bunch of content out here that needs to be discussed. It's a lot of people out here that need to be uh, saluted. It's a lot of stuff that needs to be covered and talked about and discussed at the same time. So it was like, you know what? Let's put the smack down and go out here and create this conversation for OGs to have a safe place to discuss what's going on out here in this world, unbiased and with a real live opinion at the same time, too. Let me ask you something about uh, Turk. You, you mentioned him earlier, yeah, yeah. one of the original hot boys. That's like, right. um, it's a touchy situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, well, I remember his uh, interview on uh, uh, Drink Tales. Yeah, yeah. And he get the drinking and stuff start to come out. Yeah. And then, and then some of the stuff come out, you know, you start hearing all, he go viral. Yeah. Stupid viral. Every time. But then at the end of the day, if when you look at like Birdman and all them, and I remember one thing he was saying, he wasn't going on the tour with him if they did a reunion mm -hmm. tour. Like, how complicated is that to get a, because you are, you are true, uh, Consume other music as well, but mm -hmm. you also have relationships throughout. That's right. Like so, how do you how do you have those conversations? Or do y'all even bring up the whole cash money, you know, uh, uh, saga with, on on the show? With those things, we'll talk about what's going on, but we always gonna talk about it from a positive standpoint. There you go. There you go. You see what I'm saying? We're not about to do nothing that's gonna fuel any flames and you know add some BS to the game. We're going to try to do it to clean it up, to make it a better situation for go. everybody. And to keep it on the up and up, we don't say nothing that, you know, somebody will go home and feel some type of way about. Yeah. It's more so, you know what, we're going to get clarity in any situation. But other than that, you know, we're just having a good time and talking about different things, but we don't never really get into the depths of, because I don't even, it ain't my business. You see what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nobody asking me to go on goddamn tour. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, dude, this shit ain't got nothing to do with me in a goddamn way. I ain't getting in y'all nigga business. I'll talk to you about what the hell you want to talk about, too. But that ain't none of my damn business. That ain't to do with me. You I see what I'm saying? Yeah. I respect everybody, and nigga, we gonna do what we do. We gonna talk hip-hop, we gonna talk about your music, what you working on, what you got coming up next, because that boy got to give the gap, too. That oh, yeah, talk, sure. talk. You yeah, see what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What folks done had to realize throughout it all is that Turk is a personality, yeah. Wig is a personality. You got a lot of artists out here that have personalities as well. that are great. So it's like, you know what, we ain't got to talk about the stress and the drama and everything else. We can talk about what's on your mind. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So that's where we be at with a lot of that stuff. But as far as that uh, whole cash money saga, I mean... It ain't nothing but a bunch of brothers over there, Niggas. man. Them boys made millions of dollars together, All sold millions of records together, man. They gonna be together forever. Yeah, but and it you ain't gonna be gonna a change. damn fool to think that these boys ain't gonna get back together when they didn't made that kind of history together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I was telling Turk, I said, you know what? It's only one reunion that can rival the Outcast reunion, and I said that's the Hot Boy reunion. That's I said, real. it's the only thing I can see that can rival 
Big Boy and Andre getting together and shutting some shit down. And we were able to get that from Outcast Outlast, which they show, sold out that park right there yeah. three days, three in, days a row, in a row. In five minutes, though. In five minutes, though. Woo. You see what I'm saying? So I can only imagine what the Hot Boys about to do when they come back together. Wow, I want to be happy to see it, to be honest it's with you. BG crazy, home. Yeah. So with BG coming yeah. home, he, he been in Vegas, you know, but at yeah. the end of the day, he is home and he is talking that talk come again. Come on, man. So you can't, you can't deny the fact that they hear him. And, and I feel like. I feel like they could get back together and make some more music. And we go always, like they they always feel like that. So, I, but see, I'm gonna put it like this. See, Killer Mike just really f it all the way. He up. did, didn't okay. he? Yeah. He said, "Okay, I'm about to be an OG. I'm about to come here, sweep the Grammys on y'all ass, and show y'all that I That's still real. got it, and that I'm still relevant, and I can still be the best of the best." That's so with that being said, now hip hop essentially has went from a young man sport to a grown man sport again. Wow. It's open for everybody to be able to have access like to what's that. going on. So you think that if you get Wayne, Juvie, Turk, and BG on a record with a Man and Fresh track, it ain't about to go the fuck down? You a damn fool. You a damn fool if you don't want to Come on, that. man. Man, listen. Come on. I'm going to tell you, man, them boys, man, they they hit different, man. Yeah. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm, I'm going to say this, and, and you're going to feel me on this, Talk man. To me. They had forgot about Scarface. Face of that tiny dish, nigga. Oh. Yo, yo. <laughs> Yeah, stop playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah they call yeah. themselves trying to sidestep my boy. Yeah, but that yeah. little old time yeah. just told him, nah, nah, nigga, y'all can't leave this nigga. Scar exactly. <laughs> Scarface is one of those ones, man. And that's the whole thing. What people got to understand, like even right now, though, with hip hop, this conversation has to be had as well because we lost a whole generation. Yeah. That whole 2010 generation mm -hmm. that came up that was supposed to be carrying the mountain right now, a lot of them went to jail or flat out. Passed, passed away. away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm yeah. talking about when I go through my catalog of people I didn't interview, I I might need a third hand Man. to count all of the people that are no longer here with That's us. That's right. That's you right. See what I'm saying? That's right. So in order to keep the culture alive, the OGs have to take back the mantle mm. and continue to create this thing called hip hop yep. and show the young folks how to be able to coexist in this thing mm. and continue to keep the culture going and keep the money flowing at the same time. And that's another one of the things that we got to do. It's got to be all hands on deck with folks really coming in and working together. But Mike just showed that OGs are still viable out here in the marketplace. He they can sell it. records, they can do numbers, they can sell out concerts, and they can also make some of the best music that you're going to hear this year. And it was gangster. He got Come arrested in the, at the, in the same uh, breath. Nigga. Exactly. It's Killer Mike. Come nigga. on, man. Yeah, anything can happen. Come on. OG, listen, man, but, but the things that he says and the way that he delivers his message is impactful enough to change people. Come and on. I, and that's... It, 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 Within the music, to be honest uh -huh. with you. So that's what's dope about Killer Mike, exactly. to be honest with and you. And it goes back to that Atlanta stuff I was talking about earlier. Killer Mike and Shawty Low Come went on, to the man. same high school. Really? From the same areas. You see what I'm saying? So this is what you got. The same kind of people. You got all kinds of people coming out of this one area, but they all understand each other extremely well because they came up from the sandbox together. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.